Okay, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this or not, but uh, with the recent patch, I can finally get out of these uh, beige pajamas uh, in a proper fashion. Uh, so is my understanding um, with this wardrobe here, and I'm going to try it out for the first time. Uh, other people have tried it, I know. Uh, let's see. Does it say what I've got equipped? Oh, well, we can go with, like, armor. Okay, we'll start with casual wear. So I have austerity, uh, simple, eternal, and beige. Purity, which is be above reproach in both manner and dress with the classic style in patterned white. See, even this is just far superior. It's, it's the same damn thing, but not beige. It's not like colorless baby poop. Vivacity. Garb yourself in rich blues of the masked empire while keeping your ensemble simple and sleek. It's kind of velvety. I like it. It's better. Kind of like the whites of the uh, the other one, but okay. The winter pa uh, we're in form wear the winter palace. Uh, we saw that in the. Uh, basically at the Winter Palace quest. Yeah, I wasn't too enchanted by it. But a classic formal cut crimson accented with royal blue fit to meet royalty. The Coastal Fortress. A formal azure sensation determined to declare war upon and victory over presuppositions. It's again, velvety blue, but uh, really, really high boots. I don't know how you could put those on. Uh, Kellen had sunset. Like a brilliant sunset descending into a cerulean lake, the never-ending dance of fire and water is elegantly captured. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's just not good. the midnight tower. For discerning tastes and formal accoutrement, uh, dark tones and silvery accents evoke the wonder and gravity of night skies. Oh, that's just very boring. There's no wonder. Uh, let me go into the sun. Yeah, it's just very, very boring. Okay, on to the outerwear. Venture forth. For the Inquisitor who wishes to project a can-do, hands-on image, a simple rugged number in rich browns. Going to the sun. Oh, it's got a... Like, like a little tail on it. It's alright. I think this is the best set yet. Um, I'll have to see how they accent it their colors, but so far I would wear this above the others. Tail kind of like crops through my ass, but okay. Uh, venture capital. White accents and a startling red undershirt defy expectations while maintaining a ready, durable style. Oh yeah, that works. Could use a bit more red uh, somewhere. No, in the, I don't know, may, maybe like the uh, the necker chip area could be red. That might help. Um, of course, I assume the white ne the white necker chip is part of this tail thingy as well. Um, what do we got? Night's Watch. Somber tones and a heavier coat. Perfect for cold skyhold nights and weighty discussions. Oh, no tail. But oh, it comes with a horn. And a buckle and a knife and some pouches. It's like serious business. This looks just like, you know, like. Uh, like rogue gear. It's kind of have a pukey purple. Uh, 
day's vigil. Heavy leathers and lighter tones project quiet confidence as they enthrall the eye. Oh, that works. I still miss the tail. Oh, that's very different in daylight, though. Okay, it's like the inverse of the red, white one. The white, red one. Mm. Works well in shadow, but not so much in daylight. We, then we move on to the armors with the immortal. Be observed, standing at the portals to the fade, glittering and silver. Oh, nope, I forgot to select it. Ha, <laughs> my fault. Immortal, here we go. Oh. Oh, that is silvery. Oh, it's so bright. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my. And the Eternal. Golden scale, accented with green, protected, secured, but never discreet. Oh, my goodness. It's the worst of the bunch. Oh my. My god damn it, we did another one. Oh, uh, let's just puke this one out. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Venture Forth. Once again, for the Inquisitor who wishes to project a can do, hands on image, a simple rugged number in rich browns. There we go. I think it, I think it's the tail that sold me the most. Anyway. That's it for this video. I've showed up the word.